Hello and welcome to this special presentation for Sky Sports. Where we'll be taking an in-depth behind-the-scenes look at the technology and the people that go into making a successful broadcast of the 2015 Cricket World Cup in Australia and New Zealand. I'm Christopher Climo from Content Strategy and Research. Joining me today we have Raj Rana from Sky Movie Scheduling and Jeremy Gray has come along from On Demand Channel Management. Gentlemen, welcome. Pleasure. Thank you. Uh, now, Raj, I just wanted to go to you first. You were going to be taking a look at some of the stuff around the camera crews. What can you tell us about that? That's right, Chris. Um, just as uh, different batsmen have different roles within a batting order, so too do the guys that make up the camera crew. So I'm going to look at three different types. It's the studio cameramen, um, considered like the openers, uh, steady eddies, uh, no rash shots, get the show off to a safe, solid start. And secondly, we've got the electronic news gathering uh, cameramen. Um, they're like the dashers, the number three, number four batsmen of a lineup. Uh, cameras mounted on their shoulders, quick footed, and often be found shooting press conferences or practice sessions. And finally, there's the live event guys. Uh, like any reliable middle order, they take um, their cue from the captain, or in this case, the director. So when it's time to pan away from that marauding streaker, that's exactly what they do. Back to you, Chris. Sounds great, can't wait to see it. And uh, Jeremy, you were going to have a look at some of the technology that goes on here at Sky. That's right, um, Sky prides itself in being a world leader really in sports broadcasting. So I'll be taking a behind the scenes look at uh, the fantastic technology which we're going to be using during the World Cup. Uh, things from Hotspot, Hawkeye, to the mobile Skypad, which has been a great innovation in the last, the last two years really. It'll be interesting to see if they've got anything else up their sleeve. Um, I'll also be getting an insight into how the highlights packages and the uh, special reports are put together, especially with a very quick turnaround in you know, a very short space of time. Mm. It'll be interesting to see how they cope with that. Um, be also interesting to try and dig out some of the uh, footage of the marauding streakers. Where does it go? And whose job is it really to pick out the pretty girls in the crowd? Is it, is it the cameraman? Is there someone standing there with binoculars? Or is it... Um, Someone else. You, wherever it is, it's usually a South African. Um, <laughs> <laughs> right, well, fantastic. And uh, just lastly, fellas, who do you see winning this World Cup and why? Can't see past the hosts, uh, Chris. Um, home conditions, battle hardened with the series and the one days and the tournaments that they've had leading up to this. Yeah, Kiwis or Aussies there or thereabouts. Jim? Uh, well, up until a couple of days ago, I'd have agreed with Raj, um, but then I saw South Africa. And that amazing innings. So I think, I think you probably can't look past South Africa. Well, I think it's going to be Sri Lanka or possibly New Zealand for me. It really depends. I think it's Sangakara and Dilshan, I think, for the Sri Lankans mm. and McCullum. You could never really write them off in New Zealand. Should be a fantastic tournament. Mm -hmm. Anyway, well, uh, that's all from us. So on behalf of uh, Jem, Raj and myself, we'd like to thank you for joining us and we hope to see you again soon.